so Bad Feedback Company 2 is a first person shooter uh, that is uh, focusing on infantry and vehicle uh, combat uh, and we have a huge focus on destruction as well. Well, we actually done a lot of things to the mod player. First of all, we fixed the engine, so we now can you know, destroy more than we could in Bad Company 1. So we can take down full buildings and ship off small pieces of covers and stuff like that. We improved the vehicle combat, so it's much more detailed, they look better, they play better, they sound better. Uh, we also you know, deepened the persistence system, so it's much more you know, uh, detailed and longevity is much wider. We had persistence in the last game and we've deepened it even further. So you both have the whole ranking system, but you also have you know, a pin system, you have insignias. Depending on the player type and the player style, you'll have different persistence that you can show off and brag about to your friends. Uh, and on top of that, we, we uh, made the improvements to the infantry combat as well, so it's more detailed and it's snappier and it's faster. You can compare it to you know, most shooter uh, where you run around, you aim your gun at people and you shoot them down. Of course, we have a twist on these things, but so you also have gadgets like you know, mortar strike devices, you have um, uh, shock pads like defibrillators, you have stuff that you can do, use to you know, help your squad mates and your teammates. Reloading. And of course, you have a lot of guns to choose from, grenades, you know, everything that blows things up. I think Battlefield Bad Company has the has all the all the different layers that is needed to create the the all-out warfare and experience that we want to give the player. Uh, for instance, you know we have the, the the layers of vehicles. You have the infantry combat. You have the sandbox experience where you we have these big environments where you can do all these things that the engine lets you do. And then on top of you have the, have the destruction that we haven't really seen to this level in any game out there. And all these components together gives the players the abilities to, to play around and have fun and do the, all these amazing things on the battlefield. So I would argue, you know, if it comes to all these pieces to give this experience, I think we, we, we don't have that much competition. One big focus for this sequel is, of course, the squad play. The squad play is, is an intricate part of all Battlefield games, but this time we try to take it you know, a lot further. And for instance, you can spawn in on squad mates, you can form squads, you can bring your squads into different matches. There's also awards and, uh, and the different achievements that can be unlocked uh, depending on how your squad play is. We also have two new game modes that we're not really revealing any details on that is actually focusing only on squad play. So uh, you don't have to play in a squad, but if you do, you would find the depth and, and uh, something that is completely new to the first person shooter genre. Well, all teams are actually, it's, it's 24 player matches, so you, uh, a team is uh, consisting of four squad, uh, three squads with four people in each. Uh, so you can actually invite you know, three different squads to, to the same match and, and have a you know, proper clan match if you want to. The communication system for squads is also improved, of course. So it's not only you know VoIP channels that you can you know talk within the squad. You can also send context-sensitive messaging between your, yourself and your squad mates and your teammates. So, for instance, if I'm low on ammo, I can look at a squad mate that has the capability to give me ammo, press the context-sensitive button, and get send him a message that you need ammo. He will then see that on his minimap, and he can come and rescue me. And he, of course, he will get rewarded for that. For multiplayer we have four game modes. Two, the two I can reveal is the two uh, that was in Bad Company 1. First of all, Conquest, which is the classic Battlefield game mode. Uh, and then we have the Rush game mode that was introduced in, in Bad Company 1 that we now have evolved and added much more you know, destructive elements and refined it to, to a level that we haven't seen before. We have a release date now for the game and that is on the 5th of March. And that means that you can pre-order the game today. It's going to release on X360, PS3 and PC.